Welcome. In this video, we're going to convert this uh, HTML CSS that was just sent over from our um, design and, uh, and layout team. And I am now going to code this into a uh, fully functional WordPress theme with a uh, advanced theme options panel. Um, what we're going to do, this is the home page. And so we've got a lot of uh, content blocks here. The way that I'm going to to display this information is going to be the uh, most recent posts from a given category. So for example, this area right here, um, this will be maybe the, uh, the featured category or um, welcome text, whatever. But the most recent post from a set category will display its excerpt in this area. Then we're going to have another area that uh, displays right below it and it's going to be a separate category and the two most recent posts are going to display in this area from that set category. It's going to display a featured image and it's also going to um, display the title. Um, that title is going to link back to that post and then maybe we can set a, a custom field for tagline or something like this uh, right below that. Uh, this area right here, we're going to make that um, uh, pull the one most recent post from a set category. So anyway, it's going to pull that one. We're going to uh, integrate Twitter right here. It's going to accept a, uh, a set um, Twitter ID, another category that will function same as these others. Category, we're going to display the most recent blog post right here. And uh, same thing, category. So we've got a lot of category, um, independent category queries in this uh, part of the home page. That's going to be fun to create. Um, we're going to use theme options so that the client can set any one of these that they want. So we're not going to hard code any set categories. We're going to, in the theme options, the, uh, the client will the client, and this is, this is another thing that I'm working on, but the client will be able to set the category that they want. Um, the categories are going to automatically appear in a drop down like this and they'll just simply select that, save all changes, and then the, uh, the, 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 those areas will update. Down here in the footer, we're going to widgetize each one of these. So what we probably want to do is make each one of these um, a widget. Now we don't want to have a widgetized area for each one of these uh, cells um, because that would allow for the footer to get pushed out of whack. Um, so what we're going to do is make each time a widgetized area is uh, placed into that footer area to three, four, five, six, then it will, um, we're actually only going to do these five and we'll make this um, a social area to set inside of the theme options. So yeah, each for each widget that's dropped, it's going to automatically create these columns like this. So we've got a lot of work to do. This navigation is going to be um, 3.0. Now, we'll probably want to make two separate navigation uh, menus for this one and this one because, as you can see, this one's uh, black. Now, however, we could also um, allow this to be set from the, uh, the menu class, the menu item class. So, for example, Let's just create a menu. 
and I'm gonna hit screen options, CSS classes, and let's just add an item. So as you can see, we can set a CSS class. So what we may wanna do is just have this use its own class for displaying these links. So let's make the blues the default but the blacks will be able to be set from a class um, when they're applied. Okay, so let's begin.